Someone recently recently asked me about a transformer and you know what to look out for on transformers and how to use them. You know, most of our services are basically fixing problems and finding broken items and replacing particular parts or, or items. Um, the transformer is pretty simple. I mean, you're pretty much going to have your the amount of current your system has um, that's being supplied to the piece of equipment, and you can apply it to your primary side. And through electromagnetic electromagnetic you know induction, it's going to step down that voltage from let's say here 208 voltage, which is your primary voltage, step it down to 24 volts. And that's good because you can, at that point, you can have smaller wiring, uh, less expensive parts, things like that. Okay. But one thing to keep in mind is what's coming off your your secondary side of your transformer, this 24 volt side. What will you be supplying that voltage to? So if you're supplying it to, let's say, small components like contactor coils, um, you know, small water uh, ice machine components, um, then that's fine you have to consider your amperage that those components will be pulling alright so on this transformer you have a 50 VA uh, rating here and we know the secondary side is 24 volts to figure out what a safe amount of amps um, that this secondary side will be allowed to pull safely without burning up your contactor you gotta do a simple, little bit of simple division here so you take your 50 VA divide that by your 24 volts and you get about two point something amps okay so what that means is if I have this side of my con uh, transformer supplying a contactor coil and then that feeds through a series of pressure switches or control switches and then back to our L2 side of our secondary side of the transformer um, then we're probably going to be safe because the contactor coil is our load and the load of that coil is very minimal when it comes to the amount of amps it pulls I'm talking maybe fraction of an amp. The point is you don't want to have anything on the secondary side that's powering from the secondary side that's going to be more than that two point whatever it is amps that we just calculated otherwise your transformer is going to burn up. Okay so if you have burnt up transformers and that you're and you're replacing them you know figure out what your safe amps is for your secondary side because someone could have replaced that transformer previously with something off their truck and it may not have been sized correctly so number one make sure your primary voltage is correct that you're supplying to it <clears throat> number two if you're supplying 24 volts to a particular set of components um, particularly loads that's, that's going to be pulling amperage be sure the amperage is going to be less than what you calculate by you know by that division you, calculation you made earlier uh, and they should be fine anyway that's pretty much it just want to share that thought that question came up so hopefully that clears things up thanks